I wonder who used to live here. It seems it was abandoned ages ago. We we I... I understood that. Inhabitants of this village lived at different altitudes. Some even lived inside the water. They used this sort of dam to lower or raise the water level. It seems that each family had to agree somehow to change the water level. I'm amazed at how organized they seem to be, despite them being so primitive. Being trapped here probably made them stronger as a community. like some sort of food. It's not human food though, and it's fossilized too. We Naka, we slaves, masters Naka Heavens, slaves and ma- Although they are the same style, these huts are much simpler than the magnificent architecture I've seen up to now. Whoever the inhabitants were, they were living here against their will. Someone vandalized this mural. Some hands look human, but others are amphibian hands. There are some hand marks made with pigments. I wonder if they mean something. I better draw them just in case. Is that black blood the same thing as the black... How can I explain what's happening to me? What is the meaning of all this? God's blood, transformation, eternal life. I feel like I'm going through what was written in that inscription. Black blood in eyes, like in the well.
This civilization used these devices to raise and lower the water level. It's impressive. is a beautiful place, but it has also seen a lot of suffering. All the island is that way. Beautiful, but dangerous. The danger does not seem to affect me, though. of the same species lived here, but they weren't free. has kept me from being happy. What I feel now is the complete opposite of being sick. I feel full of life and energy, even better than before my illness. Now the water level is really low, so I can access that tunnel. These creatures lived like slaves. All their lives imprisoned and tortured in this place to live a decent life in here. If you've lived all your life in a prison, how would you know that you are a prisoner?
Now I can enter this tunnel. over now. Ladder. Someone set up camp in here. Looks like a means of transportation to get to that sanctuary. It seems to show two possible courses of action. One means transformation, and the other means... death? This, 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 oh my god, did I almost forget about Harry? My dear old pal, it's only Cass and me now. I have much to thank her for, even if our friendship is worn thin due to hunger and fatigue. If she hadn't insisted so much, we'd never have convinced Teharoa. He guided us as we followed the river down from the mountain peak. And that's how we found this entrance. And the mural. Maybe I can't undo what's happening to you, Nora, but I think I can try to become like you. The original inhabitants of this island took slaves to a sanctuary. And there, they performed a ritual. Teaharoa said the ritual was madness, and he didn't want any part of it. He and Cass argued, violently. 
When we woke up the next morning, he had left. I know it sounds strange, but you have to trust me, my love. I know this is going to work, and we can be together. You understand what that means, don't you, Nora? I have... We have a second chance. With more love than ever, Harry. Harry? Wh what ritual are you talking about? Why on earth would you want to become like me? Please don't be a fool. You don't even know if that ritual of yours is going to work. Somebody painted these symbols on the wall. You followed the river from the temple summit, and it took you some days to find this entrance. A sanctuary? Harry, was that where you went? Oh dear, poor people. Is this why I'm changing too? So the guide left the expedition. That would explain the workshop on the White Sand Beach, where I arrived. She doesn't seem to care much about Harry. And she doesn't seem to be thinking straight either. That look on your face. You look deranged. They seem to loathe each other. The sun is setting. It is so beautiful. looks different from the others. It's much more elaborate.
would be my transportation to the sanctuary. Nothing bad is going to happen to me here, as menacing as this place might look. The island, the ooze, those sea creatures. They're just defending themselves, like a wild animal against an unknown threat. That's how they perceived the expedition, like a threat. But I, on the other hand, I wasn't a threat. And I definitely wasn't unknown, was I? Everything seems so distant now. As if I first stepped on that white beach thousands of years ago. A full moon? It can't be. Yesterday was... Yesterday was a new moon. Did I lose track of time or... Maybe this place isn't subject to the laws of physics. That's the only explanation I can find for this surreal night. It's hard to believe everything is real. Maybe it isn't. Maybe I'll open my eyes sometime and I'll be back in our home in Englewood and... Everything will be as before. My perfectly ordinary life with Harry. My daily routines. My illness. That will be as before too. And then I'll need to shake off this strange feeling that I have now. The feeling that I don't really belong there anymore. And with there, I don't mean Englewood, or Boston, or Newbury Court. I mean... <sighs> How is it possible that the strange events of only two days on this island makes more sense to me than the life that I've been living for years? Sanctuary. So is this where you went, Harry? Was this your last stop? Another camp, although it's little more than a few things scattered about. My dear old pal, I never should have trusted Cass. I thought she cared about you, but she's just mad, obsessed with this place. I can't trust her to help me overcome the last obstacle. This door, I know how to open it. But what I have to do is mix my blood with the Black Ooze. Am I mad for even considering that? It's the only way we can be together. It has to work, right? All this can't be a coincidence. The ritual is made for the two of us, isn't it, Nora? I wish you could be here to... Damn it. I, th 
I have to think it over. I can't. I, uh, t tomorrow. Leave it for tomorrow, damn it. Stop writing. What are you saying, Harry? Don't you see what the Black Ooze does, what it did to the Doctor? Are you out of your mind? A library? What are you talking about, Harry? Was the blood of these creatures some sort of catalyst? Heavens, this dagger looks exactly like the one I have. I really hope this works. So I... I have to put my hand inside? Moby Dick. Its pages are hollowed out, and its shape is... <gasps> Harry asleep in his tent. What a creepy photograph. Oh my, she sounds completely out of her mind. A camera. It must be Cassandra's. Tattoo, but it isn't. Those are my spots. They've moved. This mural seems to describe a ritual involving blood. That dagger... If he's behind that door, I wonder which Harry I'll find. How much would be left of the man I love? And how much of the man who has lost his sanity in this place? Different doors with different symbols. All these papers are riddled with incoherent doodles. Hmm, I wonder what this means. Those stone statues seem to rotate with this switch. Pentagon?